FSU just signed another wide receiver in BJ Gibson. So tell me about this kid, AB. Yeah, BJ Gibson, an, another six foot, 170 pound <laughs> wide receiver. If you happen to watch our Lo, uh, Wayne McCoy video from the other day, um, you'll you'll find out who I'm going to comp him to because you know how I love these six foot, 170 pound wide receivers. And so does Mike Norvell and Ron Dugans. Uh, Gibson was a Tennessee a Tennessee baseball commit. He's a stud baseball player. Um, but don't let this football rating fool you. At, rated as an eighty nine uh, with Knowles twenty four with twenty four seven Sports, the number thirty one athlete. A lot of athletes coming in as wide receiver, which is interesting. But a pretty pretty good offer list to uh, Auburn, Arkansas, Florida. Florida's one pretty hot and heavy, I believe. But he chooses the Knowles again. Another six foot, one hundred seventy pound wide receiver. I'm not going to comp him to Pokey Wilson, but Kevin and I were talking before we kind of got started here. There seems to be a growing trend of what Mike Norvell and Ron Dugan's like at wide receiver. It's really big guys and these six foot guys that can run by you on the post. All right, AB, if if we're allowed to ring the Randy special bell every time there's a six foot, <laughs> 215 pound linebacker, can we start ringing the Ron special Ron, every time there's the a Ron six Dugan foot? special? All right, let's 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 give him his credit. Let's watch him. Let's watch his film. He's he's I a agree. player of his own. I the think Ron he's on Harold personally as a football player because I think his best football is in front of him. But look at look at those cuts. Yeah, very sharp cut. Yeah, extremely. And he does it at full speed, and he's able to accelerate in a phone booth, which is really important. I don't think people quite grasp how how crucial that is as a football player that you can reaccelerate when you're in those tight spaces. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't. I'm not buying like a super top end speed here, but I think he's just one of those slot guys that's going to be so hard to cover in space in the middle of the field. I also think he's going to be tough. Yeah, he's, kind of I got think, a, he's he's got a thick build, so I think you're going to be able to put him in the slot, and you're going to be able to count on him as a blocker, like you do with Micah Pittman. And there's a lot of value in that that people miss. You're going to be able to get him matched up on safeties and let him block people. You're going to get him cracking on is. defensive ends. Yeah. No, I, I think to me he's more of that that uh, Micah Pittman role, yeah. and a little bit more of that skill set. A, a thicker build. Here, here's him running a fade. Yep, he runs by this corner. Now I, I believe he plays in a pretty pretty low um, level in Georgia. Yeah, I I hadn't heard of this high school, so so I, I'm not sure how great the comp is, but again, he's doing the things you expect to. A high level athlete to do. Yeah, I, I agree I, with you. I don't think I, I think he's quicker than fast, but I do think he's got really sharp cuts and really good feet and loose hips. Yep. And I think are, he's got good balance him. too. Yeah. Yep. I think he's gonna be one of those guys where they're gonna look to get him the ball not only as a receiver, but yeah, in these screens where he's just gonna be a natural ball carrier. Yeah. And I think his best football's in front of him. Again, he's just a two sport athlete, big time baseball player. So a guy that you know hasn't been his football as his sole focus he's going to be able to do that now get in start <laughs> can we get him playing some safety yeah another two another two two-way athlete right or another yeah. two two-way player yeah so i i i think he he gives you something a little bit more valuable it's, it's a different look than the mccoy kid that they signed earlier this week and it's just it's just a different um i mean a very similar build but very different skill sets so i think mm -hmm. They're complementary in, in a lot of ways. And I, yeah, I think he's just one of those athletes that, they, that they're they trying to bring in and trying to build this yeah. offense around. Yeah, I agree. I, I think the biggest selling point for me is just his thickness. You're going to be able to, you're going to be able to get him another dude. You're going to be able to get rocked up and he's going to be a blocker for you. I mean, he's a dude that you're going to be able to rely on in the slot as a blocker. Um, that That's important to them. That's one of those things they, that's one of those attributes that they're going to look for. Uh, when they are, when they're recruiting wide receivers. So, uh, I mean, if you're going to run a lot of outside zone, you want to lot, run a lot of screens, you need that perimeter block and be good. And that's just another thing the defense has to account for. He's almost like, um, this is a, it's not a bash, blast from the past because he's still on the team, but he, he reminds me a little bit of Josh Burrell, but maybe more athletic and speedier. Um, Burrell was a, Burrell was one of those dudes that was big and thick wide receiver that could get down the field. And you kind of thought maybe he could be a slot. And then as you got here and saw how big and strong he was, you thought maybe he might transition into an H-back role, which that hasn't happened. He's been injured a bunch. Um, 
But Gibson kind of almost reminds me of that a little bit. A dude that's going to, I think you're, his physicality is something that you're going to look forward to more than his speed. Yeah, I, th- I completely agree. I think they probably see him maybe as more that tailback role, someone that can kind of be a potential running back for you, be a kind of go into that H back position a little bit, maybe more of a diverse piece that mm-hmm. can mix it up in the box and out wide. So, um, yeah. Yeah, this is he's a really interesting prospect. I, I think that um I think that just looking at his numbers and saying six foot one seventy five might might be doing kind of his unique skill set a disservice. And I agree. I think you've done a good point pointing out that he's he's a baseball player and he's got a lot a lot of football to learn and grow yep. in. So I agree. Yeah, so I think that just about does it for us. I think mm-hmm. uh you should go check out um Brendan Sinode's article that he has on Gibson over on Knowles 247. Make sure to like and subscribe here. AB, you got anything else to add? No, make sure you like and subscribe the video. Make sure you get over to X's and Knowles and check out all the content we're dropping over there too. Um, yeah, this is a great, day, great days when uh, commits are popping. Yep. So uh, we will see you guys around next time. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you. See you.